Johann Sebastian Bach was the culminating figure of the Baroque style. He was born to a musical family and made his career in northern Germany. He became known as an organist and composer. He was employed by secular and church patrons throughout his career. He was a devout Lutheran. His two marriages produced twenty children, most of whom did not survive infancy. Four of his sons became leading composers of the next generation. At the age of 38, Bach was appointed to one of the most important church positions in Germany, Cantor at St. Thomas's School. In his own words, Bach's duties at Leipzig included the following. Whereas the honorable and most wise counsel of this town of Leipzig have engaged me as Cantor of the St. Thomas School, I shall set the boys a shining example, serve the school industriously, bring the music in both the principal churches of this town into good estate, faithfully instruct the boys not only in vocal but also instrumental music, arrange the music so that it shall not last too long and shall not make an operatic impression, but rather incite the listeners to devotion. In 1729, Bach was appointed to an additional post in Leipzig, director of the Collegium Musicum, a group of university students and musicians that gave regular concerts. Further undertakings included travel to test and inaugurate new organs and composition outside of his regular duties. In addition to his sacred works, Bach composed keyboard music as exemplified by the Well-Tempered Clavier, a collection of 48 preludes and fugues in two volumes. His instrumental music included sonatas and concertos, the Brandenburg concertos, and four orchestral suites. Bach's sacred works include more than 200 church cantatas, four passions, which are settings of the account of the crucifixion, and one Catholic mass in B minor. Bach's mastery of contrapuntal composition has never been equaled. Examples of this may be found in his works like Musical Offering and The Art of Fugue. Bach's sacred cantatas typically have five to eight movements, many based on chorale tunes. These movements will include several choral numbers, recitatives, and arias. George Friedrich Handel was born in Germany. He studied and composed in Italy, where his operas were enthusiastically received. At the age of 25, he was appointed conductor to the Elector of Hanover. Shortly after, he made his home in London for almost 50 years. In 1720, he founded the Royal Academy of Music for the purpose of presenting Italian opera. When opera seria eventually fell out of vogue, Handel turned to the composition of oratorios, which were well received by the British public. Among his most famous oratorios are Israel and Egypt, Messiah, Judas Maccabeus, and Jephthah. An oratorio is a large-scale dramatic work based on a religious or serious text. It is performed by solo voices, chorus, and orchestra, similar to an opera, but without scenery, costumes, or action. Handel's music employs diatonic harmonies and expressive melodies. His experience in theater gave him the knowledge of how to use tone color for atmosphere and dramatic expression. Handel was also a prolific composer of instrumental music. His most important works are his concertos and two well-known orchestral suites, water music and music for the royal fireworks. Handel's famous oratorio, The Messiah, premiered in Dublin in 1742 and was written down by the composer in only 24 days. The libretto is a compilation of verses from the Old and New Testament set in three parts. It is a tradition to stand for the Hallelujah Chorus, dating back to the time of King George II, who reputedly rose to his feet at the words, For the Lord God Omnipotent reigneth, and remained standing for the duration of the chorus. The audience, of course, followed his lead. The Messiah Oratorio is in three parts. The first part is the Christmas section, 
followed by the Easter section and the Redemption section. Rejoice Greatly is from Part 1, Christmas. Listen for lyrical lines as well as the long melisma on Rejoice. There is a slower second part in a minor key. The form is that of a da capo aria with a shortened last section, A, B, A. The piece begins with an instrumental inter introduction. The famous Hallelujah Chorus is from Part 2, the Easter section. The texture varies from homorhythmic, all voices moving together with the same rhythm, to imitative polyphony, a fugue-like treatment with overlapping voices. It is written for soprano, alto, tenor, bass, chorus, voices in alternation, accompanied by orchestra. The dynamics vary for dramatic effect. During the Baroque era, instrumental music became as important as vocal music for the first time in history. Great virtuosos such as Bach on the organ or Vivaldi on the violin raised the technique of playing to new heights. Instrument designs became more precise and the art of orchestration began to bloom. One dramatic improvement occurred in the construction of string instruments. Some of the finest violins ever built were from the workshops of Stradivarius, Guarneri, and Amati. Many of these violins are still in circulation and are currently worth millions of dollars. Baroque violin strings were made of gut, produced from animal intestines, which yielded a softer, yet more tr penetrating sound than the strings made out of steel that are used today. In the late Baroque era, composers began to use woodwinds on an increasing basis to produce color in tone. At the same time, these instruments were all made of wood. Horns and trumpets were valveless, called natural instruments, and could only play in one key at a time. Timpani were only occasionally added to the orchestra, serving to furnish a bass sound to the trumpet. The suite was a very important instrumental genre in the Baroque era. It is a group of short international dance forms, all in the same key, performed by a variety of instruments. Standard dances in a suite include the Allemande, a German dance in quadruple meter, and a moderate tempo, Courant, a French dance in triple meter and at a moderate tempo, Sarabande, stately Spanish dance in triple meter, and the Jig or Jig, a Celtic dance in a lively 6-8 or 6-4 meter. Optional dances in a suite might include the minuet, gavotte, bourri, and pacipede. Noted composers of suites were Archangelo Corelli, J.S. Bach, George Philip Telemann, Francois Couperin, Elizabeth Claude Jacques de la Guerre, and George Friedrich Handel. Handel wrote two notable orchestral suites water music and music for the royal fireworks. The water music was played for a royal party on the Thames River in London on July 17, 1717. It was performed without the basso continuo because it would have been impossible to bring a harpsichord aboard a barge. The 22 numbers of this work are divided into three suites and contain lively rhythmic figures and catchy melodies in order to compete with the distractions of an outdoor performance on a river. Grand entertainment was the style of the courts of Louis XIV and Louis XV of France. There was no equal to the splendor of the Palace of Versailles just outside of Paris, where Jean-Baptiste Lully, known for his court ballets and tragic operas, was the court composer. Lully also served as director of the instrumental groups at court. Jean-Joseph Mouret was also a musician at the French royal court, serving as a theatrical composer for the Duke of Maine, the son of Louis XIV. Moray's work included dramatic stage works, including opera ballets and divertissements, meaning entertainments, to accompany plays. He also composed instrumental ensemble suites, which included the Suite de Symphonies, composed in 1720. 
Rondo from Suite de Symphonies was written for an orchestra of trumpets, oboes, bassoons, violins, double bass, timpani, and basso continuo. Listen for a fanfare-like melody in regular phrases with frequent trills. Regular rhythms are in duple meter punctuated by the timpani. The form is a five-part structure, A, B, A, C, A. A serves as a ritornello. Varied dynamics and instrumentation contribute to the musical expression. Contrast and unity were basic elements of Baroque music. A concerto, from the Latin concertare, to contend with, is an instrumental form based on the opposition of two different forces of groups of instruments. Baroque composers wrote two types of concerti, the solo concerto, which sets one instrument against the orchestra, and the concerto grosso, which features a small group of soloists set against orchestra. The small group was known as the concertino. The large group was called the ripieno or tutti. Antonio Vivaldi, the son of a violinist, grew up in Venice. He was ordained in the church in his twenties and became known as the Red Priest, which was a reference to his hair color. For most of his career, he was the music master at the Conservatorio dell'Ospedale della Pietà which was a school for orphaned girls. He was one of the most prolific composers of his era. His output included more than 500 concertos, as well as chamber music, operas, cantatas, an oratorio, and an extended setting of the Gloria. The Four Seasons is a group of four violin concertos. Each concerto is accompanied by a poem describing items associated with that particular season. Word painting is prevalent in this instrumental work as the music depicts specific lines of the poem. Spring is a concerto grosso for solo violin with string orchestra and continuo written in three movements. The first movement is allegro evoking bird song, murmuring streams, thunder and lightning, and is in ritornello form, which alternates new material with a refrain called the ritornello. The ritornello is played by the orchestra multiple times, in fragments and finally in its entirety at the close of the movement. In the first movement, listen for a flashy solo violin line, fast-running scales and trills. The ritornello, as a unifying theme, alternates with contrasting episodes. This movement is written for solo violin with string orchestra and basso continuo. This particular recording provides an opportunity to experience the sound of Baroque-era string instruments. The main keyboard instruments of the Baroque era were the organ, which was used at church and home, the harpsichord, which differs from the piano in that its strings are plucked by quills and it cannot sustain tones, and the clavichord which produces sound by metal levers exerting pressure on the strings. Keyboard forms of the Baroque fall into two basic categories, those based on harmony with a strong element of improvisation, such as the prelude, which is a short introductory piece based on improvisation, or the chorale prelude, which is an embellished chorale tune and those with stricter forms and based on counterpoint such as the fugue. Other Baroque improvisatory keyboard forms include the Pasacaglia, which is a series of variations written over a repeated bass line, the Chacon, which is a set of variations based on a repeated harmonic progression, and the Toccata, a free, highly virtuosic form. A fugue is a polyphonic composition based on one main theme called the subject. The subject of a fugue serves to unify the work. A fugue may be choral or instrumental. The melodic lines are referred to as voices, even if there are no literal voices, such as in instrumental fugues. Here are some illustrations of the different contrapuntal devices that may be present in a fugue. 
Augmentation is when the melody is presented in longer time values, often twice as slow as the original. Or it can be presented with shorter note durations, which is diminution. In retrograde, the pitches are stated backward, starting from the last note and proceeding to the first, or turned upside down, which is an inversion that occurs when the intervals of the original version are maintained but are in the opposite direction. In retrograde inversion, the pitches are stated backward and the intervals, again, keep their numeric value but move in the opposite direction. The opening of a fugue is as follows. The subject is stated alone at the beginning of the fugue in one of the voices. Remember, these are not literal voices in instrumental fugues. It is then imitated in another voice, which is the answer, while the first voice goes on to other melodic material. The exposition of the fugue ends when the subject has been presented in all of the voices. In your recording of The Art of Fugue, listen for the subject, which outlines a minor chord. The harmony of this fugue is minor throughout, although it closes on a major chord. The last fugue statement is heard over a long sustained pitch, which is called a pedal point. The texture is imitative, consisting of entries of the same melody. It is in the form of a four-voice fugue for solo keyboard with an exposition where the subject is presented in the following order, alto, soprano, bass, tenor. The word rococo derives from the French word rocaille, meaning shell. In reaction against the grandiose style of the late Baroque era, the aim of art was to be simple and to express natural feelings. This style is depicted well in the paintings of Jean-Antoine Watteau and the music of Francois Couperin, who was a great composer of the French keyboard school. As a result of the social changes taking place in the 18th century, opera buffa, Italian comic opera, replaced and often satirized the opera seria, tragic Italian opera. These changes eventually lead the way to the classical era.